الله رب العالمين صلى الله وسلم على محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My dear respected brothers and sisters We are still studying and benefiting from the sittings of Ramadan from Sheikh Al-Allama Al-Faqih Sheikh Muhammad Ibn Salih Ibn Uthaymeen Rahimahullah Ta'ala And the Sheikh he spoke about the description of the people of paradise from the Quran and now he's going to mention the description of the people of Jannah in the hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam The Shaykh said there are also many ahadiths describing the people of paradise. The Prophet said there is not anyone from amongst you who makes wudu. Then says I bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah with no partners. And I bear witness that Muhammad is his slave and messenger except that the eight of the eight doors a pair of paradise are open for them, and they can enter from whichever one they desire. Collected by Imam Muslim, rahimahullah. Also, whoever follows Al Muaddin, the one who calls the Adan, with their heart enters paradise. Collected by Al Imam Muslim, rahimahullah ta'ala. Also, whoever built a masjid with the intention of seeking the face of Allah, Allah builds for them a house in Jannah, agreed upon. Also, five prayers, Allah has prescribed on the, on the slaves. Whoever performs them without losing any of them, and with, and with its rights, they have a covenant with Allah that they will enter Jannah. Collected by Imam Ahmed, Abu Dawood and Nasai. Tawban radiallahu an asked the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about an act that would enter him into Jannah. The Prophet said, Increasing in sujood, increasing in sujood is upon you. For indeed, you do not make one sajda to Allah, except that Allah will raise you in a status. And wipe away from you from your sins, collected by Imam Muslim. The Prophet ﷺ said, There is not a Muslim slave who prays to Allah twelve rak'ah of extra prayers, except that Allah builds for them a house in Jannah, collected by Imam Muslim. Rahimahullah. And there are four before Duhr, and two after it, two after Maghrib, and two after Isha. And two before Fajr. Mu'ad ibn Jabal asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to tell him about an action that will bring him closer to paradise and keep him away from the fire. The Prophet sallallahu said, You have asked about a great matter and indeed it is easy for whoever Allah makes it easy for. Worship Allah and don't, don't associate with Him any partners. Establish the prayers and give the zakat and make hajj. Collected by Imam Ahmed. Graded Sahih by At-Tirmidhi. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, The Umrah to Umrah is a forgiveness for what is between them. And Hajj Mabrur is not rewarded except with Jannah. Agreed upon. The Prophet ﷺ was asked what will cause the most people to enter Jannah. He said, Taqwa Allah, Taqwa of Allah and good manners. Collected by a Tirmidhi and Ibn Hibban's and Ibn Hibban's Sahih. This ahadith show us many actions of the people of paradise for whoever desires reaching it. We ask Allah to make it easy our path to Jannah. And then the Sheikh, he mentioned the description of hellfire. He said, my brothers, 
Allah has warned us in his book about the hellfire and informed us about the different punishments it contains that which, which terrifies the believer as a mercy to, all, to us so that we may fear him and be cautious. So listen to what has come in the Quran and the hadith of its punishment so that you may remember and repent to Allah and submit to him before the punishment comes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said the meaning of which and fear the fire which is prepared for those who reject it. For the rejecters we have prepared chains, yokes and a blazing fire. For the wrongdoers we have prepared a fire whose smoke and flames and verily hell is the promised abode for them all. To it are seven gates. For each of those gates is a special class of sinners assigned. The unbelievers would be led to hell in crowds until when they arrive. There its gate will be opened for those who reject their Lord and cherish Him. It's the penalty of hell and evil is such destination. When they are cast, when they are cast therein, they will hear the terrible drawing in of its breath, even as it blazes forth, almost bursting with fury, fury. Bursting with fury. Even every time a group is cast therein, its keepers will ask, Did no warner come to you on the day that the punishment shall cover them from above them and from below them. And a voice shall say, Taste ye the fruits of your deeds. They shall have layers of fire above them and layers of fire below them. With this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns off his servant, O oh my servant, then fear ye me. The companions of the left hand what will, what will be the companions of the left hand? In hot wind and boiling water and in the shade of black smoke, nothing will, de will there be to refresh nor to please. They said, Go not forth in the heat, say the fire of hell is fiercer in heat. If only they could understand. And what, what will make you know what it is? A fire blazing. Fiercely, surely the guilty are in, in error and distress. The day they will be dragged through the fire on their faces. And they will hear, taste ye the touch of hell. And what will explain to thee what, fa the fa what hell fire is? It lit not, it spared not. Not darkening and changing the color of men. All you believe, save yourselves and your family from a fire whose fuel is men and stones. Over it are angels stern and strong. They do not disobey Allah in what he commands them and do as they are commanded. And do as they are commanded. Surely it sends up sparks like palaces as if they were tawny camels. And you will see the guilty on that day linked together in chains. Their shirt made of pitch and the fire covering their faces. When the feathers and the change the chains, shall be on their necks. They shall be dragged into boiling water. Then in the fire shall they be burnt. Then as to those who disbelieve, for them are cut out garments of fire. Boiling water shall be poured over their head. With it shall be melted what is in their bellies and their skins. 
as well. And for them are whips of iron. Whenever they will desire to go forth from it, from grief, they shall be turned back into it and taste the chastisement of burning. They will reject our signs. We shall soon cast them in, into, into the fire. As often as their skin are roasted through. We shall change them for fresh skins that they may, they, they may taste the penalty for Allah is exalted in power wise. Verily the tree of Zakum is the food of the sinful like dregs of, of oil it shall boil in their bellies like the boiling of hot water for it is a tree that springs out of the bottom of the hellfire. The shoots of its tree stalks are like the, the heads of devils. Then shall you, O oh, who err, and call it a lie, most surely eat of a tree of Zakum and fill your bellies with it. Then drink over it of boiling water and drink as drinks the thirsty camel for the wrongdoers. We have prepared the fire whose smoke and flames like the walls and roof of a tent will hem them in. If they implore relief, they will be granted water like melting brass that will scald their faces. How dreadful to drink. How uncomfortable a couch to recline on. In front of such, such ones is hell. And he is given for drink boiling fitted water. In gulps will he sip it, but never will be near swallowing it down. His throat, his, his throat death will come to him from every corner, from every quarter. Yet will not will he not die, and in front of him will be a chastisement and relenting. Surely the guilty shall abide. In the chastisement of hell, it is not relaxed for them, and they despair therein, and we are not unjust to them, but they themselves were unjust. They will cry, O Malik, would that thy Lord put an end to us? He will say, Nay, but you shall abide. Their abode will be hell. Every time it shows abatement, we shall increase for them the fearness of the fire. Those who reject fate and do wrong, Allah will not forgive them nor guide them to any way except the way of hell. To dwell therein forever. And this is to Allah is easy. Verily Allah has cursed the unbelievers. And prepared for them a blazing fire. To dwell therein forever. No protector will they find. Nor, nor helper. For any that disobey Allah and his messenger. For them is hell. They shall dwell therein forever. And what will explain to thee that which breaks to pieces? It is the fire kindled by Allah which rises above the hearts. Surely it shall be closed over them in extended columns. As for the hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Hell will be brought on the day of the judgment. It will have 70,000 ropes with 70,000 angels pulling on each rope collected by the Imam Muslim. Your ordinary fire is one of 70 parts of the fire. Someone asked, oh Allah, Apostle, this ordinary fire would have been enough, sufficient to torture the unbelievers. Allah's Apostle said, 
The hellfire has 69 parts more than the ordinary fire. That this only worldly fire. Each part is hot, is as hot as this worldly fire. Agreed upon. Abu Huraira said, We were with the Prophet وسلم, and we heard the noise. The Prophet وسلم, said, Do you know what that what that was? They said, Allah and his messenger know best. He said, It was a stone that Allah sent to hell 70 years ago. And now it finally reached the bottom, collected by the Imam Muslim, Rahimahullah Ta'ala. We ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to protect us from the hellfire, to make us from the inhabitants of Al Jannah. Walhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammadin wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. Wa sallamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.